My name is Randall Graham. I'm the president for life of Bonnie Dune Vineyard. I've been making wine for 35 years. I feel like I'm at the very beginning of my career. I got in the wine business kind of through the back door. I accidentally wandered into a wine shop in LA, Beverly Hills in fact, and the uh, first thing they asked me was, would you like to open a charge account? And I said, yeah, that sounds good. I was 20 years old at the time. And I ended up working in the wine shop and uh, became a wine salesman. The owner had the habit of opening first growth Bordeaux essentially every day. My first introduction to wine was the greatest wines in the world. The one wine that knocked me out was the 64 Cheval Blanc, which I had the opportunity to consume a lot of. What I loved about it was its voluptuousness and softness and fragrance, and I imagined that it was kind of almost Burgundian in its decadence, if you will. So I had this idea that maybe I could make wine, and I went back to school to UC Davis. I studied winemaking at Davis and viticulture. My family helped me out, and I was able to buy some land in the Santa Cruz Mountains. At that point, was utterly obsessed with Pinot Noir, just obsessed. Every moment of every day, I was thinking about Pinot Noir, but I was determined to make the great American Pinot Noir. Well, I got interested in Rhone varieties largely because Pinot was not panning out. I knew I wanted to be in the wine business, and I knew it wasn't gonna happen with Pinot Noir. It's warm and dry in southern France. It's warm and dry in the central coast of California. Therefore, maybe Rhone varieties would do well. And it was a very simplistic idea, but it turns out to be correct. I've used whatever talents I've had to try to explain what it was that I was doing and using labels and back labels and humor, especially in those labels to disarm people. Because when we first started, we were working with categories that are still to some extent unknown. How do you get someone to order a California Rhone wine? It's not obvious, but if there's a flying cigar on the label, maybe that will initiate a dialogue. I sometimes joke, not entirely joking, that if I were in Europe, I'd be in jail by now. They would just prophylactically lock me up. There are a lot of rules in Europe. I don't think I could stand making wine in Europe. That's what we have going for us in California is our freedom. We are free to experiment, and so therefore, why don't we? One of the things that I'm hoping to discover, if we're lucky, is to find new varieties through breeding that might be particularly suited to our site. Varieties that have better drought tolerance, disease resistance. Another element, and forgive me if this is a little new agey and slightly mystical, but I'd like to see people talk about the life force in wine. This to me is something real, it's not something imaginary, and it's something about the vitality of the wine, and it's empirical, it's not something that's you just dream about, it's the ability of the wine to tolerate oxygen. So a wine needs to have this life force, this ability to age, to persist. But if I can do that, I think I can change the dialogue to really demonstrate that these wines have qualities that maybe other wines don't have in California. Mm -hmm.